Hi, it's Mark Taylor Canfield for the MTC Report, and I'm here at the University of Washington at the Quad, where the uh, protest encampment continues to grow. This is what started with just a few tents is now a pretty large area. There's a lot of people here. And as you can hear, there's some music going on in the background. So, so far, I, I'm not aware of any meetings with the faculty. One of the major de demands for from the students of the administration uh, is to defund and uh, stop working in partnership with Boeing, which has been su supplying a lot of the plane that's used in Gaza. But it's a beautiful day. People are hanging out. Looks looking peaceful. So here we are, this is the encampment. And this is the, the list of demands here. How long have you been here at this encampment? I've been here for about a week and it's just been growing progressively with each coming day. Uh, yesterday was a big day for what was happening here. Uh, Charlie Kirk, who's a yeah. far right speaker, uh, Turning Point USA, if you all right. are familiar, he came to speak at the hub. We were all, like, understandably, I think, very concerned about mm -hmm. the safety of the people here and the safety of all our stuff here. You know, mm -hmm. we were worried that people were gonna come in and wanna tear things up or instigate violence with the like, people that are here. Like at UCLA. Exactly, exactly. And what I can say is fortunately, a lot of the community came together. A lot of people I had not seen at the encampment before mm -hmm. came and blocked off the entrance. Uh, barricades were set up. Actually, the University of Washington came through and set up barricades to block off the entrances to this area oh, wow. during the period that Charlie Kirk was here mm -hmm. and immediately afterwards. Mm -hmm. And a large number of um, supporters of the movement showed up to provide a physical wall. I'll say, when I showed up uh, yesterday, I was surprised to see how calm it was within the encampment itself. Um, I need, needless to say, I'm very grateful that we are still here after what happened yesterday. So yeah, the media um, reports that I was looking at were kind of casting it is a very like tense situation and, and that violence could break out at any moment or you know the people were really worried and they talked about somebody walking around with a can of bear spray or something so you know the media definitely yesterday tried to make it seem like oh things are turning against the encampment so but that's part of the corporate news media spin that that we're getting here at least in Seattle so I was just talking about the reality of this encampment and comparing it to my experiences with the Occupy Wall Street encampments Black Lives Matter, the CHOP, uh, Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. From the river to the sea! From the 